Hi, welcome to YouTube Shorts by S. Kumarasan from Geetham. Today we are going to talk about the existence and construction of linear maps. In a typical course in linear algebra, one gives only some examples, non-examples and verification. But how do I construct? That's what we are going to talk about today. So, let us recall Rangler theorem. If L is from V to W, okay, linear, these are all vector space of course, then dimension of V equal to dimension of kernel of L and plus dimension of rank of L, which is same as dimension of, sorry, dimension of range of F, F of Right? So, this is a necessary condition. Okay, in some sense. Conversely, okay, this is a necessary condition. Okay, if F is a linear map, these are all vector space, this must be. Conversely, suppose I am given a K, a vector subspace of V, and let us say some uh, W1, which is a vector space of W. So that, okay, dimension of V equal to dimension of K plus dimension of W1, then there exists not necessarily leak, leak linear map F from V to W, so that kernel of F is K and F of V is W, the range. Okay. How do I prove that? Okay. The proof is very easy. This is, okay, recall. Okay. Here, V and W. Suppose V1 to Vn is a basis. And W to Wn vectors arbitrary arbitrary vectors and then there is a unique linear map f from v to w so that f of v i is w i one another one could be another one could be right therefore if I write v equal to summation a i v i then f of v is going to be by definition summation a i f of v i which is summation A, W, A, okay. So, there we need only these two things. How will I do that? Let, let us say, Z1 to Zk be a basis for kernel of, yeah, sorry, basis for K, right. And extend this, this Z1 to Z K union, let us say, we want to be R as a basis of B. See, you are going to use R beautiful basic results of linear algebra. Right? Any linear independent set can be extended to the basis. So, we extend this. Right? Now, how do I define this? Now, let us look at choose a basis W1 to W R of W1. Now look at the same one. How do I know this is the same one? Okay. Remember dimension of K equal to K, dimension of W1 suppose it is equal to R, then we know K plus R equal to N, where N is the dimension of V. Right? Therefore, I have to add only R many vectors to get a basis. Do you understand this? Right. Now how do I do? Define f of z i equal to 0 power 1 less than equal to i less than equal to k and what, how do you think I will define f of vj wj for 1 less than equal to j less than equal to r ok now by this result ok I will define this thing you understand this I have only w1 to wn but then I am also making 0 that's it ok 
then extend this f to a radial map. Okay, so you start with theory B in V, then in B I can write a summation AI z i i equal to 1 to k plus b j v j j equal to 1 to r and define f of v to be summation a i f of z i which is up to 0 plus summation b j f of v j but that is w j ok so that is the definition so we have constructed this linear map is it unique by no means right i can choose any kind of basis here, okay. You may choose some other basis W into W R dash. I may choose here some other basis, okay. Sorry, this extension may be some other thing V1 dash to V R dash, okay. And then I define F dash using this collection. Therefore, F of V J dash will go to W J dash and extend it linearly. Therefore, there are just many choices. Therefore, it's not unique. So this result is very easy and it's well not you no know, textbook usually gives and my suggestion would be I have two videos on this okay construction of linear maps one and two please search my channel and there are very explicit example where I worked out these things and I also worked out how different choice of extension and different choice of the image basis for the image will give rise to different uh, linear maps. If you want to write f of x1, x2, xn equal something, okay, that expression in terms of x1, x2, xn will be different. But both will have the same kernel, the same image. But as linear map, they are distinct. Please enjoy. We will meet again.